after this video lesson, you are expected to assign oxidation states correctly. One way to balance redox reaction is by change in oxidation state method. Here are the rules in assigning correct oxidation states of elements. Number one is the oxidation state of all elements in the free uncombined state is zero. Like for example, zero for chlorine in diatomic molecule of chlorine. Zero for hydrogen in diatomic molecule of hydrogen. Zero for oxygen in diatomic molecule of oxygen. And zero for magnesium as magnesium metal. Rule number two. The oxidation state of hydrogen in compounds is positive one, except in hydrides where it is negative one. For example, hydrogen is positive one in hydrogen chloride, positive one in sodium hydroxide, and positive one in acetic acid, and so on. While hydrogen is negative one in sodium hydride, magnesium hydride, and all other types of hydrides. Rule number three. The oxidation of oxygen in compound is negative 2, except in peroxides where it is negative 1, and when combined with chlorine where it is positive 2. For example, oxygen is negative 2 in sodium hydroxide, negative 2 in water, and negative 2 in nitric acid. Oxygen is negative 1 in hydrogen peroxide. It is also negative 1 in sodium peroxide and so on. While it is positive 2 in oxygen difluoride. Rule number 4. The oxidation state of representative element is equal to its valence. Example. Sodium is positive 1 in sodium hydroxide. Magnesium is positive 2 in magnesium oxide. Chlorine is negative 1 in hydrogen chloride. And sulfur is negative 2 in hydrogen sulfide. Rule number 5. The sum of oxidation states in a radical is equal to its charge. Like for example, in permanganate, that is MnO4 negative 1, the oxidation state of manganese is positive 7. The oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2. To check whether the algebraic sum is equal to the charge of that ion, we simply multiply the assigned oxidation state to the number of atom of a particular element in a radical. So for manganese with only one atom multiplied by positive 7, it is equal to positive 7. While for oxygen with 4 atoms multiplied by negative 2, it will give you negative 8. Adding positive 7 and negative 8 will give you the algebraic sum which is equal to negative 1, which is also equal to the radical's charge. Therefore, the assigned oxidation states of manganese and oxygen, which are positive 7 and negative 2, are correct. Let's have the last rule, rule number 6. The sum of oxidation states in compound is 0. Like for example, in sulfuric acid with the chemical formula H2SO4, the oxidation state of hydrogen is positive 1. The oxidation state of sulfur is positive 6, while the oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2. To check whether the algebraic sum is equal to 0, we simply multiply the assigned oxidation state to the number of atoms of a particular element in that particular compound. So for hydrogen with 2 atoms multiplied by positive 1, 
is equal to positive 2. While for sulfur with only one atom multiplied by positive 6 is equal to positive 6. And for oxygen with 4 atoms multiplied by negative 2 will give you negative 8. The algebraic sum of positive 2, positive 6, and negative 8 is equal to 0. Therefore, the assigned oxidation states are all correct. Now, it's time to do your task. All you have to do is assign oxidation number or oxidation state of each of the following elements in a chemical equation. And the balanced chemical equation is 4 moles iron plus 3 moles oxygen gas yields 2 moles ferric oxide. Good luck! Till next time! Goodbye everyone!